line is currently 0 and 2 in Big West play and 5 and 8 overall. Hey, Coach. I'll, I'll start, I guess. Um, well, how, how nice was it to come back home and get a couple of wins and a couple of wins and 3-0 fashion? Yeah, so nice. Um, it's nice to see the girls' hard work paying off. We've seen it in the gym for the last couple of weeks, but to finally have a lineup together where things are clicking and we have five offensive weapons at any time, that's what we've been trying to do. So to have that, you know, balls firing on all cylinder, I think is exactly what, what the message was the last few weeks. And so for the fans to see that and for our opponents to have to defend that for the first time, um, it was a pretty special weekend for us. And Jennifer said that, I mean, the team feels, and she, she feels that uh, the Big West Championship is still within reach since it is early. Um, oh, yeah. Your thoughts on, on, I know, we're getting ahead of ourselves, obviously, but, I mean, it seems like the team is kind of projecting upwards right now. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, there's other teams that are that are helping us out. Everyone in the Big West has a loss now, and it's two weekends in. I think that's a fairly unique situation. So we're definitely in control of our destiny. And, yeah, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, so it's still one match at a time, and we're completely focused on winning this match at UC Irvine. But to say that the Big West Championship is ours for the taking, I think, is definitely a completely true statement. Yeah, in the next match, since it is on the road, I asked, I asked Jennifer about the, the troubles on the road. And, uh, and most recently, I mean, what's it going to take to get a win out there? And how important is it to, to go down to Irvine and, and get a win and establish you know, a, a good feeling and, a, and a, a winning mentality on the road? Yeah, definitely. And to validate what we did this weekend, too, I think. Um, with the new lineup that we have going, I think we, we played well Friday night. I think we played even better Saturday night. Um, we're definitely settling into that, siding out at 75% is, is pretty incredible. So if we can keep that up, um, I think it's going to be tough for teams, like I said, to have to defend five attackers coming them at one time. So if we can settle into that, I think that the victories will take care of themselves. Coach, congrats on the two wins. Uh, just explain what these lineup changes are and, and you know how, mm -hmm. I guess, why you went with these, these changes. Yeah, I think uh, over the last few weeks, teams have been able to single in on Ketty and Graven. And we obviously needed a third offensive weapon. And we're getting the consistency at the right side that we needed. So uh, by moving Caitlin Smith over there, a kid that's been starting as long as I've been here and has great ball control and is able to pass in each of the rotations, even on the right side. So to put her on the right and get a little bit of stability out of her in that position and a few more swings um, and lessen the swings that she was taking on the left and allow her to just focus on ball control. And then putting a kid like Molly Pond who hits a fastball and people have to be ready to block her. And so if they're keying in on Ketty in the middle, it opens up a lot of swings for Molly Pond on the outside. And then allowing Jen to play all the way around. Um, I think that, that she's definitely grown in the last few weeks of practicing that. And we felt it was the right time to, to bring her in and allow her to play all the way around. So we're excited about going forward. Last week you said you were looking for that player to, to step up and, and want to take the swing on, you know, on match point. Did you find that? or? Or, I, mean, what I think we found it in a few players. I think that just because we've opened it up completely along um, every, we have someone coming to swing along every seam in the net. So I think we have a lot of options now. And I think that makes it difficult for teams to defend us. But I think that all of them are ready to come take that big swing now, which is really nice. Would you say the excitement is back with the team or, or the confidence or the, or the swagger, would you say, is, is back or increased as a result of this past weekend? Definitely. And how nice is that? After So nice. I mean, playing a team that's 16-1 and in Davis, you know, a great team. And, and we came through ready to play against them and, and opening up with that new lineup. And I think that we have that swagger now. And that's what we've been talking to them about in the last few weeks, that you guys deserve to know that you can go out there and win. We played a tough preseason schedule against number one, Illinois now, number 17, USD. You know, each of those teams, Illinois is still undefeated. San Diego has one loss, and we took San Diego to five and Illinois to four. So these kids deserve to, to know that they're that good. So coming into Big West and having a weekend like this, I think, puts a positive spin on things. Thanks, Chris.